Are you guys enjoying your apple? Are you enjoying Phoenix, Arizona? Hey guys, after four hours of sitting down, this is my hair. I can style it however I want. I love it so much. I'm, I'm so impressed with the way the girl did. She was very, very patient. I chose my own color. She, I wanted it to be with this um, blonde color, but also with my color. So I wanted to mix the two and I chose the consistency. So let me know, how did I do? Do I look? more beautiful or you just look that now so i'm very very loving it so much i don't know if you can see the bag and her hand was not so heavy but when i look at this i was like it looks look a little tight but it's not painful at all i'm so proud of the way she did it so let's hope this will take me two months guys this was 170 dollars that is the cheapest of all the quotations I had because I told you guys that I was gonna go to Portland But they told me that to do box braids. I'll have to put down 200 dollars as deposit I don't know if it's gonna be less than that another one that I that, that, was, that I met she was saying that she's gonna do my hair for 350 without hair this one was 150 and they 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 also provided the hair that is she did by herself oh my goodness i will love this is why i don't like it long okay this is how long it is it is just by my belly and yep i have my hair now now let the vlogmas start let the vlogmas start because i'm not gonna be having to deal with my hair detangle it and everything it's gonna be wake up put whatever i want to put and that's it i love it let me know how you want me to braid it i can braid it all the way to the back but man i love it guys this is me with my hair <laughs> now with the new hair i'm in love i'm in love I'm, I'm very impressed and the way i found them let me tell you how i found these people they're in phoenix in arizona so one lady i called her and we agreed that saturday she's gonna do my hair today is friday but i texted her saying that i'm going to come earlier than i anticipated can you do it for me earlier they didn't reply i called them they don't answer i called them twice today they didn't answer so i called this one today in the morning and she said that okay so if i made you this i'm holding my camera they said 10 o'clock and she was so nice they're all from ivory coast and we all had the african um descent and us like african mind so yeah i was very very impressed for 170 dollars i'm saying this is so worth it like compared to the three i had a quotation of 350 for this same hairstyle and let me know how much this hairstyle costs in america because i don't know i'm just finding people everywhere so i don't know exactly where to really buy the hairstyles and all that so i don't know exactly how much it costs but you know what i braided my hair that's all that matters today i'm so impressed with the work and i told them that i can come again like so impressive i'm so happy so yes i got my hair braided i got it i got it new hairstyle let me know how to think of it and let me, don't forget to let me know how much it usually costs in america because i know in Botswana for this hairstyle i'll get it for 50 dollars less than no for 20 dollars in, in Botswana, this hairstyle will be 20 dollars but i want to know in america is it because like i live in a place where there's no hair braiders like please let me know in the comments exactly how much it is because i want to start like knowing exactly how much where are you going? That's what I'm asking. Where are you going? Where Looks like time, someone is tired. What happened? Fell asleep, uh, <coughs> fell asleep in the supermarket. He's been sleeping all this time? About 20 minutes. Mm. What is that? Is that my chicken? Yeah. Ooh, I'm That's hungry. a chicken. That's a yeah. huge chicken. What are you eating, Caleb? Mm. Are you eating chips? Oh, and this looks great. Am I having coffee? Okay. Oh, what are you warming up? That's when it's food, guys. I'm hungry. My open up. What are you having, love? Double steak burrito from Chipotle. Oh, you want to Chipotle today? Yeah. Drive through? No. Oh, you had to get out with the boys? Get out. Mmm. You warmed it. Why did you warm it, love? Cold. My husband likes hot food. For me, I like warm food. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, cheese. Caleb, how do you 
like my this hair. Caleb. So nice. So nice. You're so nice. Kiss me. Okay, that's perfect. Honey, I want to come and comment with comment on how you like my hair. I love it, guys. Now it's time for me to see what I'm gonna do for it to take a shower. Hmm. I wish I had a ribbon. Oh, there for it. Let me know what you think. What do you, what do you like about you like? About, okay, come here, honey. We need your comment. How do you like my hair? I think it looks great. It's the best I've seen your hair. I yeah. really like it. Yeah? yeah? I like the length and I like the color. So you like the two colors? Looks I good. So you think this is the best braid I've ever had? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I liked it so much. And it's definitely someone that knew what she was doing. And uh, um, so now the question is like, what am I going to do? Honey, can you give me that plastic bag that I want to show my subscriber something? Thank you, honey. I want to show you something that I bought from the African store that the girl was doing my hair. Because I was so impressed that I, I was like thinking, like, how am I going to get it under to take a shower? Now that's a challenge. In the, bag, in the handbag, there's a plastic bonnet. So I just purchased a plastic bonnet that my husband, I just asked him to get it for me. And let's hope the plastic bonnet is going to... Yeah, I purchased this. They say that, okay, let me try to open it. I, op I bought it, um, they say it tightly fits my hair. Let's find out. It has um, African colors too. Oh, I'm a <laughs> The reality, I'm yeah, it's, it's long, so it's definitely gonna protect my hair don't for sure. Don't protect it, that's really have... pain. No, that's not pants. That's mommy's bonnet. I mean, you will get used to mommy's hair. I think this is my first. Okay, I don't know. I don't have a ribbon, so it's definitely gonna be an interesting. Caleb, where's mommy's ribbon? I wanted to have my hair. What is it? Now, now my hair. Is, I wanted to do something it's like this. That. You see, like this. You see, that. and then have that ribbon mommy. that I like to have. Just like um, hold it like this, mommy. and then I put it in. Mommy. Honey, I want my black Mommy. thing. What are you looking for? Yes, where, where did you get it? Uh, on the kitchen table. Honey, you know what I'm trying to do? Can you come and help me, please? <laughs> now that I have hair, it's a matter of, okay, honey, we need to make sure that this hair, because it's still tanned, I don't want to hurt it, because until it becomes soft. So what I want, can you hold it for me like this, honey? Okay. Don't, don't press too hard, honey. It's still fresh, so you don't want to hurt it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, okay? Honey, please don't let it, don't let it go yet, okay? So is it holding well? What happens if we leave it? It's too loose. It's too loose? Okay, well, we still have to, you know, hold, make sure that you're still holding it, okay? We need to get the whole hair in. So you should start at the back. Okay, let's start to take it. Okay. Should I get honey, you let it go. You let you let it go. Don't let it go until I please until I I get it in the bonnet. I mean how can I braid my hair? I don't even have anything to hold my hair together. That is not a good idea. Fail to plan plan to fail. Huh? Fail to plan fail to fail. Yeah. Honey, you like it? My hair? Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm gonna say get it? Yeah. Okay. Now you wanna get this bonnet on you? How are you gonna do it? Just put it you want all your head hair. I want all my hair in, but it's not gonna remember that is that I just did my hair, even though it's not as painful. When you press it too hard. Yeah. Honey, be careful, so be nice. gentle. Yeah. Okay, it feel honey. So nice hair. Thank you, baby. Let me get my ear out because I'm getting ready for a bath now. Okay. How are we gonna get a bath? Okay, this is how it looks. I actually love it. I've got it from the, the African storm. So yeah, I love it. Now that I think about now that it's been there long, my hair's starting to be painful now. <laughs> it was not painful when I did it, but now it's painful. Um, that's what I got. And also I got some oil to put it on the lines and how do you like my bonnet guys it's so african it's so bright colors so yeah it's definitely gonna let me sleep well with any it is tight enough on the on the thing this is how i'm going to be like 
protecting my hair so it doesn't get dirty and it's made of uh, what is this texture that people talk about that is good for natural hair so it's definitely gonna be a good one i'm excited hi mommy p how do you like it is it nice mommy p so, no seriously okay how do you like it no no good is it cute no, 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 no. Is it cute, Kayla? Mommy potato! Okay, then mommy's not mommy potato. Mommy's nice, it's not a potato. Should you wake up, Joshua, or what's your plan? I'm so I'm gonna be brushing my teeth, getting ready for the day, for the night. It's night time, and I'm so happy. I actually got some work done. I actually edited a video it's gonna be coming up in the next two days and i'm getting ready to be ahead on vlogmas because vlogmas is posting every single day for the month of december so i'm trying my own to make sure that the content is very good quality and it's not boring so it's fun and in two days we're going back to oregon i mean it's amazing how some people don't watch my videos and they thought that we moved to arizona no we did not move to arizona we came here Oh my goodness, sometimes the comments. Oh my goodness. No, no offense to, 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 to followers and subscribers. One time I saw a post that was making fun of, I mean, it was, it was a, an Instagrammer that was saying that they will literally mention something in the video. For example, I got this bonnet from the African store. And then someone will literally comment and say, I like your bonnet. Where did you buy it from? I get that a lot in my channel. Like, I literally said in the video that I'm going to. Phoenix for Thanksgiving and someone said oh you are moving again like so yeah attention to details uh, but then again people don't watch your videos and stuff so sometimes I don't know if those kind of comments do I delete them or do I just reply them or what do I do so yeah we're getting ready to go back to Oregon and in two days it's gonna be fun it was a fun Thanksgiving it was amazing with family and it was an amazing time that I've managed to braid my hair for cheap and then it was an amazing that we had a lot of good time and actually i was wanted to make a video i don't know if i'll be able to i wanted to revisit the place that we lived in and just go to show the place that we used to go there weekly if you watched my old videos you'll know the place and everything um the place where they have ducks and stuff that's what i wanted to go but tomorrow we kind of also have another busy day we we are going to girls parents for dinner and my husband said he has a plan for the kids so we have a lot of plans but our days are very very short because we would have stayed longer but our son has an appointment with an eye doctor what is the eye doctor called honey ophthalmologist huh eye doctor yeah what did you say ophthalmologist yeah optum or optic like Opta. optic oh ophthalmologist so yeah, he had a doctor, he had an appointment with ophthalmologist. I understand up again. So yeah, um, that's what's going on right now, and we have an appointment, so we cannot prolong our days in Phoenix. I'm gonna be staying here for the next two more days, and then I'm now getting ready to to go and I don't know how I'm gonna take a bath. That's the thing about braids. How do people take bath? Do I need to buy a shower cap? Maybe I need to buy a shower cap and put under this. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing for now And I'm gonna have to have to do this so I can wash all my face That's what's going on guys. I'm going to close this vlog here. I'm going to take a shower and um, rest because today was very busy and yeah um, please pray for my son that the eyes are not that bad and i don't know how they're gonna test them and everything and hopefully we'll be able to communicate well to tell them what is what is going on with his eyes because if we're new one of my sons i mean i have a feeling that both because one thing that i have noticed about them was that when they were um when at night they are people I don't know how to pronounce it, but I say purple in the eye gets so big, like you see, it will be an iris, and the purple will just be like so large. And I told my husband one day, I said, "Why is that purple so large?" Little did I know that it is allowed time to allow the light in, and both of the twins are like that, huh? I'm gonna try to do a load of wash. Right. Oh, let me take off this clothes so before talking about. You know, wait for them. Okay. okay, let me. Okay, give me one. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do another load tomorrow. Okay, don't but do it. it's been busy all day, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Okay, so yeah, their people have been getting big, so I'm going to get tested all the kids, 
and hopefully he'll be provided with something to help him see and i'm excited for that i'm also i was nervous but after receiving a lot of comments from you guys and also just like um an assurance that it's not just my kids i started to feel really better about it and um it's going to be a very interesting transition for so for a four-year-old to be on glasses or corrective whatever corrective um i don't know what they're gonna do so we're excited to see what they're gonna say and hopefully we'll find a very big solution so that he can go back to writing i mean to following writing because we took a pause with the following of the dots and that's really what made me really see how bad the eyesight was and i'm thankful to god for really revealing that early because my husband said that he found i mean but they realized later and for him and stuff also yeah so hopefully it's gonna be in hopefully my son now is gonna come out of his shell and be so excited because he's been like a mellow baby but when he was born he was not that mellow so it makes me wonder if the eyesight really affected that so we'll find out from the doctor and then see what his pediatrician says because we found a new pediatrician in oregon as we just moved there anyways guys we're gonna be closing this vlog i'm going to be closing here Take Taking a bath, brushing my teeth, getting on my night, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in my next ones, Lord willing, and hopefully when I see you, we'll be on our way to no, wait, no, we'll not be on our way, but I'll see you in my next video, Lord willing. Bye.